Hello again, YouTube. This is Truth Man giving you the truth. Isaiah 4 and 1 series right out the rip. Isaiah 4 and 1 series. Isaiah 4 and 1 says, and for all you women who don't agree, take it up with God. Isaiah was a prophet. Take it up with him. In that day, talking about towards the end of days, where we at right now, seven women will take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own food, wear our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace. And I got this from a conversation that I had with my wife. So listen, don't play the jealousy game. That's childish. You make sure these women understand Isaiah 4 and 1. See, a lot of times women are trying to play on your desire to be right before God. But what they don't understand is a man can have more than one woman. So when she tries to make you get jealous, oh, this guy said I'm fine. That guy said, and I'm talking about what a conversation I had earlier. You tell her who cares. Go get with them then. See, this is what these women don't understand. And I'm talking about all of them in this one. I, I mentioned that a little conversation that was had. But I'm talking about all of them. This is what they don't understand. You can't guilt trip me into being with just you no more. You know why? You know why? Because, and yo, yo, y'all girls, y'all wives, you they can't guilt trip you with just into just being with them. Because Isaiah 4 and 1, the whole Bible says that you can have more than one wife. Period. Like, I mean, it, their advantage is gone. And that's why I do this Isaiah 4 and 1 series, because they're going to see that their advantage is gone. The only people y'all got advantage over is guys that ain't woke up yet. A guy that knows how to do research, knows how to study, that I'm a matrix man, or no matrix man, excuse me. A guy who knows how to study. You're not going to be able to. Your pastor, no, none of these pastors can't tell me I'm wrong. Because all I'll say to them is 2 Samuel chapter 12. Read it. Read it. Well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. read it. Matter of fact, read it in front of your congregation. And we'll expound on it. I would like to hear you expound on that, sir. That day advantage is gone, man. Listen, if you want to be with one, that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But you giving her a significant advantage. You giving her a significant advantage. See, women try to guilt trip men. That stuff don't work with me. That stuff don't work with me because I already know ain't no woman perfect. I already know that. Like, I know these things, man. That's why, again, that monogamy stuff, it just don't work. Like you, most guys, this is what you're going to do. This is why this is another reason why you shouldn't be monogamous. Is because you're going to pick somebody based on looks or based on this or based on that instead of picking the people who into you. That's what most guys do. That's why the divorce rate is so high. Because guys don't know how to pick. They don't know how to vet women. They don't know how to pick. Like I knew a little how to vet, but... I didn't know everything that I needed to know in terms. I ain't going to even sit up here and lie. Like, I didn't know even half of what I know now because I do research. I watch people. I got paid to watch people. I was in corrections. I got paid to watch people. So those years of watching people, like, I just start watching everybody. Like, and I and I learned a lot of things. And one thing I learned is that women... You shame and language, what we talked about yesterday, they try to guilt trip you. They, they'll go from thing to thing. Listen, it does not matter. I don't care if it's, you know, I'm still married on paper. I don't care. Like, like, don't let them get you into this game where y'all talking about other guys. Go get with them. Tell them just like that. Go get with them. I don't have time for this game. Go get with them. Go. I don't care. Like, if I'm going to be honest with you, if I would have knew 
a lot of what I know now, I would, I probably wouldn't have got married. I'm gonna be honest with you. I got four beautiful kids, and that's what that was worth. But the games that women play in general, I've seen my mother do it. I've seen my sisters do it. I've seen cousins, aunties, people at work. You gotta ask yourself, is it worth it? Because if you know how to talk, if you know how to present yourself, you gonna still get some. Is it worth it? Like you be ready to go to work and they start up with you and drain your energy and focus. Like it's not even worth it, man. Then you, you sometimes you can't even sleep at night for different reasons. It's not worth it, man. I'm telling you. If you ain't got no unicorn, I'm going to tell you right now. She got to stay a unicorn, too. Because some women start out appearing as unicorns. Then they switch. They don't handle the trials and tribulations of life right. I heard this saying. I heard this from Cheeks Land Headquarters. But I, I believe I heard it somewhere else. It's, it's a gem. It's gold. It go like this. A woman's loyalty is tested when a man has nothing. A man's loyalty is tested when he has everything. Kind of like LeBron James. Like, his wife, basically, he's a billionaire and still can't get respect. I mean, when y'all gonna see this stuff? His wife slept, basically embarrassed him. Uh, she found out he was recording and slapped his hand, phone out of his hand. She should not have done that. Like, that's that's just, that's that Jezebelic stuff. That's that Jezebel. Like, you, yo, yo man is the greatest, second best basketball player of all time in my eyes and in a lot of people's eyes. And, and she basically acted like he was just a scrub on the playground. That's what she did. Slapped his phone out of his hand in front of everybody. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't play the jealousy game with them. If they start talking about other good dudes trying to get with them, say this. Say, why you ain't get with them? You should have. Just come tell me. It'll be fun. Because it will. Like, trying to stick to one woman, especially when they not treating you right, when they not showing you respect, when they not giving you they all, all and everything, it's not something you want to do, man. I'm going to tell you. It's not something you want to do. So women will hide. They'll do all type of childish, manipulative things. And because don't nobody know, this this why they always say things like, uh, don't be putting people in our business. And why are you saying this on Facebook? And why are you doing it? Because they want to present an image. to. I've literally seen this right here. When people come around, they try to treat you better than they treat you when they're not around. Like, and when they having conversations, this person this, this person that. But then they, they actual behavior towards you just don't match. It don't match. Like, they don't check up on you. They don't do. I mean, ain't no woman going to pimp me. She cannot pimp me. My wife will never be able to pimp me because I could care less. And your wife shouldn't be able to pimp you. The only way they're going to be able to pimp you, if you play that jealousy game. If you play this game where you're trying to make them happy. You can't make these women happy. When y'all going to learn, man, they not happy unless they choose to be. You can't make them happy. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. So let's stop playing like like Patrice O'Neill and like I remember the uh, Matthew Broderick the War Game, War Games. Watch that movie if you're, I'm finna I'm finna create a channel where I'm just doing all responses to quotes 
uh, things in movies and in uh, TikTok and all that. The only way to win the war game is not to play. Not to play. Listen, listen. You could try to sick the family court on me, but if they can't find me, what are they going to do? If they don't know how much money I got, what are they going to do? I don't. And, and that's another thing. Let's get a little deeper. Stop. Get your money. Do what you got to do. But stop caring so much. Because if you care too much about money, then when all of this breaks down, you going to break down. That's why the Bible says, what profit if a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? When you marry these women, you basically putting yourself at a disadvantage. If you get a legalized marriage on paper, you putting yourself at a disadvantage with the family court, with the court system and everything. It's basically slavery. It's slavery. That's just the truth. That's the truth. And women will play on that. Just like with your kids. If she, she try to dangle your kids, you tell your kids the truth and you just go about your business. Don't let her dangle your kids over you either. Like you tell your kids that if you don't see me around, you know, it's not because I don't want to. It's her. She going to try to use you because she's like when women is bitter and that little save stuff, show it, show it. Because when women is bitter. They'll do anything, and in their own mind, it's perfectly fine. Oh, that I'm saved. Hallelujah, girl. You going to church, you dressing up, you your little new side dude dressing up for church. But you doing malicious stuff to your ex-husbands and, and ex-boyfriends and stuff like that. You think God gonna just turn a blind eye to that? He's not. He's not. Like he said, if you don't forgive other people's trespasses, neither will yours be forgiven. That's why I always say, you got to forgive. Like, if you see you're not getting along, with, this is what I do. If, if I'm having extreme problems out of somebody, I just would rather just leave them alone, get away from them, and, so I can forgive. Instead of, because if you keep trying to deal, this is what people do. They keep going to toxic jobs. They in toxic relationships, stuff like that. But they don't realize that you got the devil. That's exactly what she wants. That's exactly what the devil wants is for you to stay in strife filled, disharmonic, disagreement, bitter environments. That's what the devil wants. That's one of the very greatest tools, and that's what I'm going to talk about. The greatest ways that the devil destroys people. I mean, that's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm only going to make this video and that video, and then I'm going to be done for today. But that's going to be the next one, because y'all got to understand this, that don't let your personal feelings about somebody make you think that the devil won't use them against you. Because the devil, if you weak, like let's say you being unforgiving or bitter in a certain area, the devil will use you. I mean, that's just all it is to it. And we, I'm going to help y'all. I'm going to equip you for all of her schemes. We're going to break it down in categories, relationship, money. We're going to break it down. But anyway, uh, this is the Truth Man channel. There's no matrix, no simping on subjects channel. Um, just be looking for that video. It should be coming up probably in a couple hours. Um, don't play the jealousy game with these women, man. In fact, you if if your wife tries to do this, like, oh, you, oh, this guy said I'm fine. That guy said I'm fine. Especially if y'all already been having problems, just tell it. Just go, man. Like, why are you talking about it? Go out there and get them. They, they ain't going to do that. They don't try to, because a lot of women, they just want to make you miserable. They want to make you miserable. Like, the unicorns don't. We're going to talk about the unicorns tomorrow. But 
the rest of them, they just, they want to use shaming language, whether it's your wife, my wife, Superhead, Kendra G. Or just don't play that game with them. You, you care too much. You care too much. Like I always say, there'll never be a woman greater than Eve. And look what she did. She messed up the whole setup in the garden with her desire for power. Thanks for watching. Keep tuning in for more videos.